Hey guys, it is Kuda Crafter, and I have really good news. I'm pretty much done uh, organizing and cleaning my craft room. Um, I did the best I could, and I actually like how it came out. Uh, I have to admit, this is probably going to be my absolute favorite craft room setup that I've done so far since 2016. I've had so many different craft room setups, but this is the one that, even though I'm in a smaller room, I, I'm really happy the way it's set up. I really, really love it. Um, so all I need to do is clean the floor and then record the video, the craft room tour video, and I should be able to upload that today. So I will promise you that video will be up today. But before I do that, I wanted to do another haul video, another big haul actually. Um, uh, one from Cheaper Than Therapy, uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs, and Keep It Simple. So let's get this started. So I'm gonna start with the smaller stuff and then we'll get into the best for last, <laughs> which is to keep it simple. Okay, so uh, in my last haul video, I mentioned that I participated in the Scrapbook Expo at home event which was like their first one uh in may like the last two days of may so uh these were one of the items that i bought from it's cheaper than therapy so they included this sample pack and i guess it's foiled textured paper star it says star truck Starstruck, excuse me, in glossy textures by Renea. Renea, I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. So um, this is going to be fun to test out because I do like this star pattern here. So I only bought two items. I almost bought three, but one of the items was sold out. So I had to buy that item from Amazon, which you already saw in the last uh, haul video. So I, I'm really loving this uh, brand, Karen Berniston. Uh, she makes amazing um, uh, card dies and just the overall designs I just, I really love. So I need to look at the receipt so I can tell you the price, which doesn't have it, never mind. Um, one of them does have the price. This one was in their sale section. So I only paid about 10 bucks for this or nine, nine to ten dollars. And I thought this was this was a little bit unique. I've never seen something like this. Um, they're called coffee charms and there's a craft die set 10 pieces. So these are the dies that you get to make uh, a little frappuccino, you know, a coffee, a mug and all that. So I thought this was really cute too. Uh, use in my coffee log and uh, also for card making so here's the back there mm, I was kind of worried how small they were gonna be but the size is not too bad so can't wait to play with this so the next item is uh, the coffee cup pop-up sorry that the light is uh, getting a little bit darker now because the Sun is going somewhere else <laughs> And it's like 9.46 in the morning, so I don't know what's up with the sun. Anyways, so coffee cup pop-up. I thought this was really cute. I wanted to get it. Um, so I can't wait to make this card as well. I did make a Father's card, a Father's Day card for my dad, which was the pop-up uh, set that I showed you in the last haul. And it came out amazing. I forgot to... Um, show it to you or bring it back and show it to you guys but um, maybe some other time I'll show you how I did that card so these are the dies that are included and here's the back and I like that they give you clear instructions on how to um, put the card together because <laughs> I'm really happy with the card that I made that it, it came out perfect uh, I did everything right so um, that's what I like when it comes to products good really good <laughs> directions anyways so oh 
I don't I forgot to mention Studio Calico so I did buy two stamps from Studio Calico because they had a special where it was free shipping for their stamps so these were the two well there was actually quite a few Studio Calico stamps that I wanted but a lot of them were sold out so these were the two that was on my list that I really wanted and of course you know me and coffee I love coffee um, I thought this coffee stamp set was really cute uh, each of their stamps is about $15 ish I think $14.99 around there I'm not sure so um, yeah I got this and I love that it's designed oh it's the other stamp never mind but um, in a creative bubble is a pretty good company as well so I really like the design of this and then this is the pizza one which I thought was really cute and um because of course I eat pizza a lot <laughs> well I try to only eat pizza maybe twice a month and that's it but I love pizza I mean who else doesn't uh so this is the one that's designed by everyday explorers I really love that company by Christine Heron so um I just had to get this stamp because I just love the design overall and I can't wait to document on what type of pizza I've been eating lately. <laughs> so that was from Studio Calico. Now I, I, whew, hmm, I love Elizabeth Craft Design guys. I'm so addicted. I'm very obsessed with her products. Um, when I found out that Okay, when she posted, because I follow her on Facebook, on all platforms, actually, um, except Twitter. I don't like Twitter. I don't do Twitter. Um, she posted, there was a lot of people buying her new sidekick line, which I didn't think it was going to come out in the U.S. till maybe in fall time. So I was really happy that she sent an email out saying that she's finally... Uh, selling the sidekick dies for the US uh, stores so of course I had to get it <laughs> and I'll, I will show you the comparison between her sidekick dies and her regular uh, bigger dies so you you can have an idea so I was like you know what if I'm gonna buy more dies I might as well buy all the ones that I want but whichever one is available because I do not want to buy any more from her. I mean, I love her so much, but I got to save money because <laughs> this whole month, guys, I don't even who I probably spent a good three hundred dollars this month, guys. Uh, uh, I don't usually spend that much money on like craft stuff. So I got to slow my roll starting July. <laughs> And I know this year frugal was supposed to be the word of the year, but ever since May 30th, it's been going downhill, but I'm going to get back to that, getting back to saving money. So anyways, I had to get this die. This is about $10 from her website. Um, I really like this floral here. I've seen a, so many examples with this floral. I just had to get this die set and just make my own designs with this flower because I don't know at first when I saw it, I was like eh but when you see other people using it and it's like I gotta get it <laughs> so um I can't wait to play with that so getting into the sidekick dies so this fits the personal planner size so it is a little bit smaller than her regular uh die which when I get to that, I'll, I'll show the comparison. But of course, I had to get this one <laughs> because it's a coffee, somewhat of a coffee theme. Um, excuse me. Um, whew, I thought I was going to burp. So this one says, but first coffee, never give up. And then there's these cute coffee cups. And then there is like the traditional rectangle page. And some circle dies. I've seen an example where someone used this particular die and she put um, stitching through it. So that's something I want to try as well with this die. So this one is called Sidekick Essentials 4. Her sidekick dies are 
a little bit cheaper than her regular ones. Uh, these go for about $15 or $15.95 around there. Her bigger dies are around like $22. So a pretty good deal on this. And then here's another one, Sidekick die set. Um, I really like. This is the envelope. Oh, forgot to show... Um, because usually what I like about her packaging is that on the back she shows examples of what people did or what she did uh, with these particular dyes. So like these floral dyes, this is what um, they did with them. And then he, for this one, this is the back. So this is what I was talking about. She put uh, stitching around in that circle die which I thought was really cute so I do want to try that so anyways back to this one is sidekick essential six this one has a little folder and I'll show the back as well um, and I do like these hearts here and here's the example so I really like how they did this here they made three different envelopes on one page And there's a superstar. And then this is another uh, Sidekick Essentials 8. This is a larger envelope. Uh, there, it's not a full page, of course, but you can still, uh, you know, put it in your personal planner. There's some frames here, ampersands, another frame. And then here's the back with the example. But where is that pocket? Oh, it doesn't, they don't show the pocket one. Oh, here, there's an example of the pocket. So that's really cute. That's why I had to get it. So this is the last, um, I forgot how many she came out with, but there's like a few more that I, I rather get later. I'm not in a hurry to get them. Um, this is Sidekick Essential 7, and I really like this one because of the leaves here. These are just so cute. Um, and then this one has a tab on the top for this page. So here's an example of what they did with them. I really like how uh, they put them in a pocket tag there. So now that we're getting into her regular uh, dies, so here's the size, I need to go back a little further, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the, the size comparison. So maybe a good mm, an inch and a half uh, in length or height, so um, yeah, that's, and probably, let me see, width probably a good inch so this one is for the a5 size so this is the planner essentials 2 and I like this one because there's these uh, tags and you put um, this one reminds me of a Tim Holtz die that I have that's uh, it's a pocket with uh, it's <laughs> it's a big rectangle with pocket slots there you go so with this die, you actually can put um, these pocket slots on the tag. So here's an example right here. So there's the tag, and then they just glued on the pocket slot on it, and you can make it into a pocket tag. So I thought that was really cute. And then there's like date and details, and then this one says noted. And then there's a tab on the side here. So this one is Planner Essentials 4. And I really like this one because it's like a sideway tag. So that's why I, I wanted to get this. I know I can make my own tag and then just punch holes in it. But, you know, it just it's just easier just to, um, you know, just use a die and be done with it. So... There's smaller frames here and some arrows. There's a camera. This one is actually a full rectangle page, which I do like. 
and then there's some tabs here and examples on the back of how they used it so right there that's what I like I like that and then on to the very last tag that I have this is planner essentials 22 it's actually a planner pocket 3 top loading so this page makes a huge it's like a full pocket page but it's top loading so you'll see example on the back and I just I love when she gives these ripped textures in her dies and you can actually add this ripped texture on the holes here so it gives it character so here's examples on the back and what I like is that this die here this frame die you um, put it on the pocket and you can put like acetate to to make it into like a frame in a way so that's what they did here so I want to try that and then um, this here you can make uh, whatever your whether it's a tag photo whatever it is you can paste it on top I think and you know uh, put a twine and then you know you can pull it up and down so I thought that was really neat so the last thing I got from her was this sidekick espresso um, she only has two colors for the sidekick line so far there's beach which is a very beautiful blue color and then the espresso I got this one just for my coffee log um, I I wasn't sure what size I wanted to document my coffee log and I know that I didn't want anything too big because it's just coffee it's not um, anything that has to do with memory in a way um, I just wanted to document all the different types of coffees I've drank and tried and rate them so I remember what to buy what not to buy etc so um, this espresso one I thought was a perfect size so I'll just open it and show you the inside. So just by touch, I can tell it's a great quality, which I really love. Um, very soft. And I like, not a lot of companies do this. I think she's the only one that does this, but I just like that she puts these holes so the rings stick out because sometimes when you get these type of planners with the rings with no holes you get that mark on the inside cover which I don't like because over time when you keep using it opening it opening it and closing it it gets those like ring marks here so I'm glad that she does this um, so there is like I don't know oh okay they accidentally left that um, so here's a pocket slot here and then there's one on the side which I thought hmm it's kind of weird but okay and then there's a pocket slot here a pen holder and the rings so really nice quality and can't wait to document my coffees in this all right so we're gonna get into the I personally think is the best like while I'm putting this stuff to the side I didn't even know scrapbook expo had their own scrapbook company where they um, were selling physical items I, I had no idea because when I kept seeing keep it simple keep it simple I'm like oh I never heard of them let me check it out and when I saw all the scrapbook expo related stuff and it I, I just I just knew and I fell in love with this um, particular collection that they have and the quality of the papers the design of the papers um, I, I just fell in love with it and um, let me get the paper so if you don't know whoops I'll get that later so um since scrapbook expo there was a lot of 
uh, cancellations, postponements because of the COVID-19. The only way, the fastest way they were able to give or return, I, I wouldn't say give, but refund um, their customers is through an e-gift certificate. Okay, so I had an e-gift certificate. So they said that you can use that for future uh, expo and or buy it from keep it simple so that's where i was like keep it simple i've never heard keep it simple so i checked out their website and i was like whoa what so um i use my i use the whole e-gift certificate um that's how much i love <laughs> how much i love these products because they're when you see them guys it's you're gonna want to get a set for yourself so um, just so you know, if you're in the Orlando or in Florida, they just sent an email, I think this week or last week, that they did change the dates to October of this year. So hopefully that will follow through. To, I, I just hope by that time we got everything under control and we can get back to what we love doing um, when it comes to Scrabble Expo. So let's, whoops, I really hate this thing, guys. I'm sorry. Um, all right. So majority of these items is from one particular uh, collection that they have. So I'm going to show um, two that's not from the same collection. So I did buy uh, two sets of enamels. And when I buy enamels, I want hearts and dots um, or even just all hearts which I would be happy with because I have so many dot enamels um, I don't have enough heart enamels which I really love so I do like the color scheme of the clementine collection and um, I like that each row like row of hearts row of dots row of hearts and so forth so I really love how they designed this and their enamels go for, but I think one of them, hold on. Yeah, this one is $5.99. It's a dollar more than the other one because there's actually 66 and the other one has 63. So, of course, I had to buy washi tapes. This is from their crop kit uh, collection. So... There's one washi tape that has uh, words that are related to Scrapbook Expo, like I shopped, made with love, golden ticket, um, stamp, I'm a maker, Scrapbook Expo, and so forth. And then the other one is colorful bows. I'm not really into bows, but this one in particular is really cute. So that's why I was fine with getting this set because I will use both of them. So this set is, uh, where is it? Oh, here. So this is $5.99. So now we're going to get into this collection called Crop Kit Crafty Girls. And I just absolutely fell in love with this whole collection. So this is the washi set. Um, there is copper foiling. This one has uh, like a paint streak design. And then this one is scissors. This is also $5.99. And then here's the enamels. And really nice colors. And this is $4.99. I don't usually buy these type of puffy stickers. I know... Crate Paper came out with these type of puffy stickers where they're a little bit bigger, but I prefer the smaller, uh, where you get a lot of smaller ones. But I had to get this one because the designs, I mean, look, there's a die cutting machine. <laughs> Not a lot of companies put die cutting machine in their collections. So that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with this collection. Um, of course, there's uh, a typewriter. There's cameras. So this one is $5.99. So I did buy a bundle. Um, they call it 
the Crafty Girls Paper Bundle, and this one is $50.95, and you get a lot of stuff. You get uh, two 12x12 sticker sheets, you get two packs of uh, papers, one is the A side, I think it's what it's called, and then, wait, there's... This one is collection pack, and this one is flip sides. That's what it is. And then the last item is uh, these... What do you call it? This is a paper keeper, so there's three plastic project keeping po pockets. So, But I'll go through everything. So that's what you get in, the, in this whole bundle. And for 50 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. So... Oh, let me do the 2019 first. You know, I really wish I had gone to last year, but I had to work for a different um, convention. And the reason why I would love to go last year is because their pins last year, I just like the retro 80s looking design on their pins. But this is their 2019 12 by 12 sticker set and it is so cute look at these binders guys look at that and just so you know i just started um learning how to sew so i'm definitely a sewer now <laughs> so i'm happy i can use these sewing machines in my documenting so they have a lot of cute elements look at this there's like a we are memory keepers uh brad and and what do you call it eyelet thing so and then these pens, the cameras, the coffee, like every all of the elements in this sticker set is just so cute. And I cannot wait to use these. Um, I just, oh my gosh, I'm telling you guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection. And, oh, uh, oh, that was part of the bundle, so I can't really, I don't know, wait, oh. So here's the individual price if you just want the 12 by 12 stickers. So it's $3.99. And then this is the 2020, or for this year, um, they have, this is another 12 by 12 sticker set. And they have all the pins here for this year. Um, there's a lot more words in this one, not a lot of elements. Um... So, but it's still cute though. And then this one is also, oh, this one's $4.99. Hmm. Okay. So their stickers are also uh, glossy. They're not matte. So, which is, um, makes it look really nice. So getting into the papers, this is the collection pack. And look at the designs, guys. Look at that coffee. There's the binders again. I love that. Um, some words, scissors, cameras. And then this one has different elements here. Binder clips, florals. I'm not fond of the buttons, but the buttons, I have to admit, are pretty cute. So um, this one also has different elements. And... This also comes with a 12 by 12 die cut ephemera sheet on the back. So this shows the cut aparts here, like the three by four cards, four by six. I think these are two by two, I'm not sure. So on the back here is the, well this one, they didn't cut it. So um, it's unfortunate that I'm gonna have to fussy cut these myself, but at least they outlined the elements here to help you um, cut it uh, properly so really cute elements here uh, I really really love this so uh, if you just want to buy this paper pack it is $15.99 on their website and then here is the flip side pack so this one is more, um, not a lot of, mm, I don't know, what do you call it? Um, the patterns are very simple. So it's just pretty much a basic uh, pack. Um, 
lack of a better word. So there's some hearts, there's diamonds, stripes, dots, argyle, hexagon, stitching. So some really cute designs. And you also get a 12 by 12 die cut. Oh, it says printed chipboard. Oh, I thought it was ephemera. So um, on the back, it's chipboard. Uh, so these are cut out. So all you have to do is pop them out. Uh, really cute elements here. So really love this. And then this is also $15.99. And the last item is the paper keepers. So three plastic project keeping pockets. Um, there's three different designs. So there's my current projects, my stash, crafty girls. And I really like this because when I do 12 by 12, like when I want to pick out a 12 by 12 uh for you know a photo and the papers like I want everything to be together in a you know a plastic pocket or something like that uh, so it's all together so if you just want to buy this it this is $9.99 so three for ten bucks is a pretty good deal so that's pretty much it for this haul uh, I will be posting the craft room tour later today hopefully right away if I can but later today definitely um, but yeah, that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.